Good morning. It's Monday and it's art week. It's color week in my world this week online. So I'm going to be finishing off this canvas that I started last week. And then I'm going to be moving on to doing more traditional art for want of a better explanation. Good morning, Christiana. I wonder if you can hear the builders in my building. It sounds like they are a bunch of dentists with giant drills. I feel like they're drilling in my head. I hope you can't hear it. Good morning to everybody who's joining. We're going to be working on this canvas today. We're finishing this one off with some color, so it's color week. I'm not sure how long these um, my streams will continue for. I've said I will stream for this week. I might do it for the foreseeable future at 11 o'clock. And um, no problem, Christiana. And I can see myself. I hope that you can't hear. Okay, so they've gone quiet. But um, if you can hear the drilling in the background in the building, I don't know, they're renovating on the fourth floor. It feels like they're renovating in my flat. So we're going to be working with the color today. I've decided to go with the rust look again around the heart area. But this time I'm also going to be introducing some of Fenabear's matte waxes just for a different look so that not all my canvases look like they were made at the same time. Good morning. Is it? How do I pronounce it? Apuva? From India. Welcome. And I've got Rini and I've got Susie. So, okay, I also got my cup of coffee because for some reason I've woken up with a frog in my throat, as the English saying goes. English is a really weird language. We have some funny, funny sayings. Who would have a frog in their throat? But anyway. So, <clears throat> my husband's been kind enough to make me some coffee. Let's get going. So, when I created this last week, for those of you who didn't see the original, it is on my YouTube page or you can scroll down my personal Facebook page. This I did, I think, on Tuesday last week. I actually lost track of days. I don't know, this lockdown story... Um, it's not like I work on a normal basis. I, my husband works and I do the shopping, cooking, cleaning, whatever. But um, yeah, it's a bit confusing with everybody being home and nobody actually going to work. So every day feels like a weekend. So I didn't actually stick this heart down because I had pre-prepared this heart with some Finnebear gold crackle paste. And I didn't want to spray it back two reasons one i have already made it nice and gold so i don't want to be spraying it black and secondly it is made from polystyrene so it will not oh somebody did ask where i got it from and i can't read i'll have to get a magnifying glass out good grief can't read where that came from didn't realize there was a sticker on the back okay so this heart is polystyrene and polystyrene does not like traditional spray paint it will dissolve it so we're going to put that on one side. I will be adding some color to pick up the cracks, but we're going to put it on one side so I don't accidentally get um, paint on it where I don't want it because, well, that's just what will happen. I'm putting it back there so you can see I have a funny little piece of white that's probably backing off some foam dots. Uh, I do want to make these hinges that I created from clay I used the Do and Dry by Creole to create these in a mold. And the nice thing is when you pull them out, they're not too sticky and they're not too soft. And because I wanted them to fit the shape of the heart, I've left them drying on the heart. So they're now nice and nice and dry. I don't break them because you don't fire them. They feel quite strong. <clears throat> So I will be doing the rust technique on these and then I think I'm going to go for the rusty look at the top and then I'm going to fade it down into the matte waxes. So let me get that out of the way. Uh, I'm going to be using Finnebear's 
rust paste in the three different colors. Traditionally, I start with the more rusty of the colors and add smaller amounts of those to you. I'm just looking for a brush. Okay. So when I finished last week, I sprayed these with a bit of water because those of you who've bought these, and in fact, Tim, Tim was live on the, he's been doing Facebook lives on Saturdays, Tim Holtz, and he was talking about products having a shelf life <clears throat> and the the manufacturers don't want to put an expiry date on it because it depends very much on where you live and and the humidity and or dryness etc etc so they they can't guess where their product is going to land up in the world and so every product does have a shelf life and basically he was saying use the stuff if you're going to buy it use it and so these pastes definitely have a shelf life in that they go hard and you can add some of your um, ink pad refresher to the paint as well as just adding water to help keep your paints going for a bit longer because I've, I was saying last week that I've even put a little note on my, in my diary. Morning, Craig. Uh, I was saying I've even put a note in my diary once a month to just check all my, all my pastes and things to make sure that they haven't gone dry and to give them a stir. Of course, as soon as anything has been exposed to the air, it will start to dry because hello, when you finished painting your object, it will dry. So, and like you can see, my pots are getting really empty. So the longer, or the more, the more I use them and the longer they open while I use them, of course, the more they're being exposed to the air and they will start drying. So for those of you who are hoarding all your products, you're hoarding them for what reason? So you can use them on that perfect project well the perfect project is the one you're going to use them on so plan one and use it because we all do that it's like when we get married and we get all these amazing gifts and we keep them for special for special occasions and a couple of years ago I helped a friend of mine pack up his house after his wife had passed away and there were boxes of glasses and uh, dinner services and tea sets that he said he he didn't even know they owned they his wife had never used them because she was keeping them for special and I think by that stage they'd been married for like close on 25 years so really it's taking up shelf space it's taking up cupboard space it's taking up yeah just use the stuff okay so now I've got rusty base number one now I'm going to add a little bit of the brown here and there and because <clears throat> I've got a black base I don't need to add too much of this on here and oh I see I've got some new people joining in today I've got Sharon is watching Magdalene is watching for my Afrikaans surname I'm very English sounding so if I can't pronounce your names properly sorry Add to the fact that I'm also dyslexic. Makes everything fun. I second guess myself on everything that I say. Right, I want a bit more of the rusty colour on this. So these pastes have like a grit in them. And I'm, I need to just pick up some of that grit. Because that's part of what... It's not just the colour. It's the fact that it actually has the grit. Like real rust has grit. It changes the molecular structure of the of the metal there we go that's better so you want it to look and feel really rusty right now I'm going to be a bad bad girl and dip into my yellow when I teach proper acrylics I say proper acrylics as in um, 
fine art acrylics. I teach my students to work from light to dark because if you're going to dip into your paint, you're not going to contaminate going the other way, but you have a chance of contaminating your paints if you go from dark to light. Hi, Tarion, Siv. I see you've had ice, Siv. We also, my bird bath froze. We've, we were supposed to have snow yesterday, but nothing happened. It was all just rain. And um, so this, it went down to minus four last night and my bird bath froze. And that's as exciting as it's got here. Siv posted a really pretty picture this morning. Siv's in Norway. No, where are you? Siv, I can't remember where you are. Anyway. Okay, <clears throat> so these guys are now nice and rusty and crusty. And let's see what they're going to look like on my heart. Morning, Justine. You escaped the kids for a few minutes to come and watch. Okay, so now we have... That's going to look like that. So I will be adding more colors to the heart, but I want to build up these colors first before I decide what the heart needs. So I'm going to move that out the way. Put it in a safe place on my Bermuda Triangle. Morning, Karen. I see I've got Antara, gosh. So, <clears throat> right, we're going to go back to this nice rust paste. And I'm going to concentrate on the wings. And the advantage of not having the heart in the way is you can really get into all these things because sometimes it's really difficult to get into your crevices and so on with your brush if you've got objects big objects in the way and I'm adding this with a tapping motion because I'm trying to push some of this grit into the grooves and well, I can't see what I'm doing from that side I'm going to just add add some there yeah I'm gonna pull out a nice rusty chunk I'm just gonna support this I have I've got a huge chunk of glue underneath there and some supports because the wing is off the canvas but I don't want to be breaking it off having just built it it's been drying for a week so the glue and so on that's why I didn't want to do the painting and everything last week I wanted this to really dry well before I decided to paint it okay the wings have got a fair deal of grit morning Vanessa well I have no idea where half of you live I know that India is five and a half hours ahead of us depending I think on where you are and I know Canada is so I'm going to be streaming on Saturday 10 p.m. my time will be one one o'clock lunchtime at Pacific time I love this bit where as you start adding the color all the texture of what you have built starts to show it's like magic I'm gonna make this side quite gritty <clears throat> I'm gonna try not to get too much of the grit on these balls because I want them to stay relatively shiny because I want them to be a different texture in all of this 
all the grit is building up my brush just trying to get get it back out I need a wet wipe <clears throat> Two forty-five p.m. in India. There you go. Okay, so that's not too far ahead. Do you have different time zones? Because when I googled it, it told me five and a half hours, and I know I knew I was doing something together with um, an Indian company recently streaming, and she said three and a half hours. So. I don't know that I trust Google so much. Google keeps getting things wrong for me on the time front. And okay, it doesn't help that we've just changed times. Um, we've gone from, we've moved an hour ahead. So for my South African friends, we're now the same time. Sorry if there's a delay for me responding to you because I'm, I'm watching my iPad, which is off screen, <clears throat> to be able to see any comments and things into who's, who's popping in and out of the stream. And um, there's a good minute, minute and a half delay. Morning, Amber. Morning, Neil. Welcome to my Facebook Live. We are painting last week's canvas. This is my favorite part. Once I've built it to make all the designs pop out. I'm trying to keep these shiny orbs unpainted with the grit paste at this stage. So that it doesn't... Eastern um, Indian Standard Time Zone. Okay, I'll look that up. Okay, let's see. I don't know how far down I want this rust to go. I think the Eiffel Tower is down here. I think I'll have my rust going down this side. So I've got my keys um, underneath my flowers. So remember, if you were in my stream when I was building this canvas um, I was building an underlying structure so I've got horizontals and I've got verticals and I've got three keys I try and put as many um, un even number of objects on my canvas if I can it's just visually more appealing so I have got three keys so there's one two and a third one up there it's something that helps to bring your eye around the canvas so I'm gonna make this key nice and rusty I'm trying to get <laughs> it's sticking to my brush it's not sticking to my project I want it nice and rusty rusty crusty So I'm trying to build down here and need to take some down the Eiffel Tower. We'll have a rusty Eiffel Tower. I must admit when I first visited the Eiffel Tower I thought it was black. When we got there it was brown and it wasn't rusty brown it had been painted brown. I was quite surprised. Okay, so we're going to get the rust going down into here a bit and then I think I'll let it fade out. Because I'm trying to link this bottom cluster of objects with the ones at the top. But I'm going to be using the matte waxes as well. Good morning, Michael. And... <clears throat> 
So I'm trying to add some of the grit, which as I say, keeps going up my brush. Perhaps I need a different brush. Maybe it's just because it's getting towards the end of my pot. Okay. <clears throat> For those of you who've just popped in, there's a heart that belongs over there. If you're wondering why there's a big blank space in my canvas. And I'm just trying to add some of the rust. Trying to build up some of the texture from the rust. Let's just see that I'm not building up too much where the heart is going to go <clears throat> and then it won't fit. There we go. No, that's still going to work. Okay. <clears throat> Time for some more coffee. That frog is back. Hmm. Okie dokie. Now time for some of this brown. You'll notice I haven't been too careful with painting away all the black. I've used some of the black shining through to my advantage because it doesn't need then a lot of this other brown. Hi Michaela from Austria. Yeah, I'm new to this whole time change thing. It's only my third one ever. So when we arrived from South Africa a year ago, we arrived on the 26th of March. So not long after that, we had our first time change, which is the one we've just had now. Then we've of course gone into the winter time change. And um, yeah, this is somewhat strange for my brain. I wake up on Sunday morning and it feels like nine o'clock, but it's 10 o'clock. But I read somewhere that they're going to do away with it in 2021. Okay. Bringing some of the brown down here. Bringing some more of the brown <clears throat> down to the Eiffel Tower and the dress form. Should we have a rusty dress form and heart? Have a rusty heart. Okay, so now I'm going to bring in a little bit of the yellow. Again, I'm being a bad, bad girl. I'm not cleaning my brush. So I know I normally say that your lighter color. So I normally have my shadow on the left hand side of my canvas and my highlights on the right hand side of my canvas. But rust, rust isn't really, <laughs> it doesn't really care about light and dark but as an artist you can kind of tweak that concept and so I'm going to make the rusty bits definitely lighter on this side maybe have a bit more of the red going on in there on this side So as an artist, you can tweak things and bend the rules. So I'm definitely going to have lighter rust on the side. So 
so that I build up. So I'm going to make all my objects on this side lighter and getting darker as it comes this way. So I'm using my rust effect a bit like I would use normal acrylic paint. I might have to come back and and darken some areas. But I'm trying to keep my highlights like the sun is catching my objects all on the same side. Is a bit difficult when you have such a large brush. Okay, so I'm going to do the same down here. So this side of my key is going to get the highlight of the rust. And pick up these little guys down there. <clears throat> okay, so now this side needs my yellow highlights. And there go the builders. I don't know if you guys can hear them. I hope not. And we'll have a sunny side of the Eiffel Tower. And sunny side of my rose. And we'll have a sunny side of the heart. Maybe we'll add a bit, because I have no idea what I'm going to bring down here. I know I don't have yellow. There's no yellow... Um, matte wax so i'm just going to bring some of this in for now okay pick up a little bit more morning hina yeah i see neil you're saying you really must get your rush to paste it up just get them out anyway i was saying earlier that you need to check that they are still healthy because they once they've been used or opened and sometimes even not these things all have a shelf life and some people including some of mine even though i use mine um have been discovering that actually they've gone hard so you can add your um ink refresher to it helps and I'm spraying with water so every time I've used mine I do spray a little bit of water on mine just to try and see if I can make them last a little bit longer but I think ink refresher has some other things in it which definitely seems to also help morning Kay well I'm saying morning to everybody because it's morning here and I forgot to bring I forgot to bring my clock. So I have no idea how long I've been yakking for. Okay. Bring some of the brown back on this side. Try and bring that dark in that I said. sometimes when my yellow has gone a little bit blunt <clears throat> sorry I keep using that word it's the Afrikaans word for bright and not even that polite even okay so let's see how we're doing with our heart in here so another reason why I'm using quite a lot of the yellow which I wouldn't normally in the rust Thanks, Kriya. 
Karen, 11.30. I've only been going for half an hour. Yay. Oh, yay, Neil. Yours is still nice and pasty. You are lucky. So, as I was saying, another reason why I'm using a lot of the yellow today is to try and link up with my gold heart. I think that's working quite nicely. I wish I could share some of my coffee with you guys, but anyway, hope you have your own. That's the one thing I stocked up on. Everybody else went mad about toilet paper. I stocked up on coffee. <laughs> I have other priorities. Coffee and dark chocolate. Because I need... I'm... I need my dark chocolate and I need I need my coffee okay so now I'm going to get one of my soft brushes out I'm gonna close up all my pastes for now morning Karen at least I know my South African friends we're on the same time now we were an hour behind you guys <laughs> Somebody else who likes dark chocolate. Yay. Yes, not everybody likes it. I am insulin resistant, so I'm not allowed to have anything with sugar. And I've discovered that the 72% chocolate doesn't affect me. So, yay, I can have dark chocolate. One needs something to look forward to in one's day. So at the moment, I'm on chocolate rations one row a day. Because I'm down to my last, um, the store's been out of stock of dark chocolate I guess it's not an essential um, so I'm being down to my last last slab of chocolate so I've been trying to eke it out you have chocolate milk because you don't like coffee how do you survive without coffee yeah I guess we all have our vices okay so I'm gonna use some of the matte wax so at this stage only my heart is shiny and I've gone for the pastes over here which is also matte because I'm trying to just keep my heart I'm going to need to link my heart to something else so I will have some of the shiny waxes I think on these hearts down here and again I've got three hearts one two three so let's just see I'm going to try and take some of the paste off over here I'm dry brushing this paste on just to see what effect I'm going to get. Okay, this is the rusty red and rusty brown. I think I might need both. Morning, Kanika, or afternoon, depending on where you're from. I'm going to go with the rusty red, take the excess, smooth it off my brush. This is like remember i don't know if any of you did that what we used to call black magic as kids where you colored everything like a rainbow on a piece of paper then you painted it black and then you scratched through the black paint and it showed where all your colors were and it was like magic so this is a bit like that kind of magic where it's now showing up my flowers and my things where I'm dry brushing. I'm going to try some of the brown, see what that does. Oh, the brown is... On the black, it's so pale. I'm just trying to build it up lightly. Afternoon there. Aha. Copious amounts of tea. Yes. Good British tea. I've managed to find PG tips here, which is a decent strong tea. Because I like quite a strong tea. Um, this is looking like a highlight. Nope. Nope, nope, nope. Don't want highlights on that side. That's my shadow side. So back with some brown. Yeah, I struggle to find decent tea, strong tea here in Berlin. 
morning Debbie from England um, Debbie's also a past student on my art side so yes Debs will be doing some fine art fine art from tomorrow I'm debating whether I should take everybody through the circles I think that might be fun I did do color theory in last week with my mixed media stuff but I was known for teaching color theory using circles in South Africa because I just kind of found that if you were trying to paint something and you'd never painted before even just learning the basics one wants it to be perfect because as adults we are so flipping hard on ourselves so I discovered that if I made people paint circles then okay there were still those that wanted to make them into balloons or bubbles or um, planets or something but then you get all precious about it and you and you sort of afraid to make mistakes one doesn't learn if one doesn't make mistakes so okay this is I'm having a problem now. this is not relating to that so now I'm having to bring some of this up here I'm liking the matte wax look it's very different to anything else that I've done but it's quite a lot paler than the things I've put on here already so I'm still wanting my highlights coming from this side so I'm trying to incorporate it Well, that's nice it's picking up the wing detail yeah so I'm going to definitely try and incorporate it on this side yeah so as I was saying about circles I might start with circles tomorrow and explain shading etc etc I think that might be a good place to start so yeah I think as adults we all want whatever we do to be per perfect first time round we don't ever give ourselves that chance to fail I think the people who are most successful in life have failed at quite a few things it's obviously not what we promote and we talk about but one learns the most from trying and experimenting and failing and picking oneself up and carrying on and in fact as most of my students will know if you dropped your brush or you've made a mistake or you had an accident with something often your canvas turns into something far more interesting because now you've got to try and fix that bluffs and it pushes you to think harder and to work harder and to work out of that comfort zone that you would never have done had it gone perfectly according to plan. Now the matte waxes are just so different to everything else that I have used. I love the look, but it's um, finding it intriguing. I haven't done it on a lot of things because they're relatively new, they only arrived last week but I like the look that I'm getting and yeah I'm trying to build a highlight on that side of my canvas and although this is brown, dark brown um, it's still quite light on the on the black which is rather nice okay let's pick up a bit more let's see if I bring in a bit more of the red now that I've got the brown down morning Sharon Okay, so the red again is lighter, so I'm going to try and pick up just, oops, pick up just, it doesn't help that I've got a 
one of the biggest soft brushes that I own trying to be delicate and just clip one side of things here nothing delicate about the size of my brush Okie dokie. Hello, Carol. Okay. Right. I think. I'm going to put a little bit on, on these guys. here because it's going to pick up the mold itself has quite a lot of nice texture and then of course I've done a whole lot of the rust on here that's picking up the texture even more is rather nice an added layer for some interest and I'm just going to do it on this side Again, it's picking up the detail in my mold. I think I'm going to do just a hint of it on this wing because I like, I want to pick up some of the detail in the mold, but I don't want it as light as that wing. Okay, so now I am going to come with my sparks. I love my sparks and I'm going to come with a little teeny tiny brush because I want to just bring some of that shine down the highlight side so I'm linking up with with the gold on my heart so when you are designing something firstly it's important that what you put down as a base all links so you have a visual link on with your objects and then you can help with a visual link on your using your color so it's important to to think through your color I'm gonna put nope that needs some color down first before this so the the sparks is quite transparent it works on top of things and of course I've got my tiniest brush out on Morning Ian! Something very different for you and your world. Something a little bit creative. So I'm trying to create a visual link down to the bottom with my gold that's at the top to something gold down at the bottom and I think I'll put it on the heart and I'll pick up this nice detail in the little dress form but again because I've got my highlight coming from that side I'm going to try and bring it down one side only It just helps the eye and gives it something interesting to follow. 
and I think we'll give the Eiffel Tower a nice shiny side as well. Oh, good grief. What are those builders doing upstairs? I don't know if you guys can hear them, but it sounds like they're trying to grind down from the fourth floor into my flat. Okay, so now I'm going to pick up this little guy and maybe this and try brush. Over here. So now I'm trying to do it almost like the heart is throwing some of its shine onto the other areas so almost like the heart is a bit of a sunshine so it's like a bit of reflection going on here just for fun but now to make these really shiny I'm going to use some treasure brass um, which as you can see is one of my favorite pots the easiest way to get these guys to behave and I'm going to put some down here not too much and there was a guy up there morning Jennifer just I think it's almost must be heading towards midday so I've got my highlights going on that side. I'm going to come back with this gold rub on the same highlight side, a bit over my wax, my matte wax. I think that works. And again, on these guys, I'm going to just highlight the one side. Thanks, Karen, for my time check. There we go. So this is all about layering. So not only were we layering, so I've got my texture paste through a stencil, then I started building with chipboards and some metal embellishments and some laser cuts. I'm also now building with layers of paint. And I am dotting about a little bit all over the place, but um, trying to create a bit more of a visual link so I'm trying to have the feeling like the color is going down down here So when I add my color, it's quite intentional. I'm going to just take the heart out for a second and just get some going on here. Oh, that's not quite dry. Okie dokie, 
How's that looking? Stay. Behave. There you go. Okay, I'm quite liking the way things are going down here. I just want to pick up a little bit more detail. And I think I want to bring in a little bit more of the rust. No, wrong brush. The red rust down in these flowers a bit more. Just so that there's a bit more of a visual link with up there. Because visual links are important. Be they using the same texture, be they using the same color, things need to flow and to link up. Okay, now I'm going to add into these cracks. So I've used texture paste. I've used, let me just close some of these jars. I've got too many things open. Before I land up making a horrible mess. Uh, that one goes with that one. Right. Clean as you go. I want to try and get some of these cracks to show. And there's two or three ways you can do that. I rather like using the Distress Crayons to rub into the cracks and then using a wet wipe to rub them off. Um, and then, or you can use a spray. Morning Hammer. So from tomorrow Hammer we will be doing back to proper fine art. Today is colour, but it's colouring using technique pastes and so on. Tomorrow we're going to go back to circles and then we'll carry on from there. So from tomorrow I'll start with acrylics and um, build on each day. So I could spray with this and it will go into the cracks and it will run. Um, I don't really want my spray going all over my canvas because I quite like how my canvas is looking right now. So I'm going to take my canvas out of the equation and so I'm going to try now of course my nozzle is blocked because I didn't clean it like a bad 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 artist so I have a water bottle that I pop on here it doesn't fit but it sprays so I'm just gonna get the water out so um, if I spray on here, you'll see that the, the color will go into the cracks. And for this, I really like my finger. Um, I'm going to help it around with my brush. It also changes the color, so it mutes this bond gold quite a bit, but it helps to show up the cracks a little bit more. I'm especially not sprayed on that side because I still want my color on that side. Morning, Anne. And in fact, I'm going to take some of the excess off here. And that has shown up my cracks quite nicely. But where I really want my cracks to be strong, I'm going to doodle. So here where my cracks are the biggest. So the trick with any of these texture pastes that are self-cracking, the thicker you put it on, the bigger your cracks are going to be. So I really plastered it on on this side and not so much elsewhere so the crayon shows up your cracks a lot more because obviously it's thicker because the acrylic spray just runs through it so I'm just gonna add a little bit more down here
and again because I've got my highlight coming from this side I want more let me just wind that up a bit I want more of more of these cracks to look shadowy so I'm going to put quite a lot of crayon on this side Tim did a wonderful demo I think it's two Saturdays ago with the crayons and so you can go to his blog and it is saved there he did it on Facebook but um, it is saved there right so now I've definitely got my shadow side happening more on this side and it's showing up my cracks a whole lot more I just don't want those big blobs so I'm just working them away what I did have to do with this polystyrene heart before I put the crackle paste on is I painted it with gesso so that it had some texture because what I was finding when I was trying to apply the crackle medium that the crackle was just wanting to come off it was just because it's quite thick it just wanted to slide off okay so now I've definitely got a shiny side and a darker side and this is where my these two are going to be going and that so now I'm going to add I think I'm gonna commit and glue them on let me just deal with my spray be a good girl and clean the nozzle like I didn't do on the one that belongs to the bottle I think I'm going to commit and actually glue these on if I can get to my glue morning Ashwini okay this one I know I can just glue on and I'm using just plain plain old glue so I turn this towards myself so I can see if I'm straight it's really hard to put things straight on a curve and that's the trick with these is I also want them straight straight on a curve there we go because I want to add the drop shadow to these so I need them in place it's very difficult to find where its original position was morning Jane I'm just gonna have some coffee and so the last thing we're going to do is we're just going to use some black paint I'm going to use a little bit of distress which I'm going to put on my table and where's my little brush oops I didn't wash it I haven't got any water on my table this morning bad bad girl but I have a wet wipe that'll do clears my glue and Oh, I should have left some of that dirty water I want some water and I want to create a little bit of a drop shadow on this side it's not quite stuck which is probably not a bad thing And let's maybe have some inside there. Okay, so that's got its shadow. And then I have a little bit of a drop shadow going on here. 
I know these are already three dimensional, but it just helps visually if you assist the eye with this imaginary sun that I've got going on on my canvas because of course in my in my lounge there's no sun certainly not actually my lounge gets no sun at all it's on the other side of the flat so it's the attention to detail and of course it would be darker in here too It's the attention to detail which helps to trick your eye. I'm going to go a little bit darker there. And then a little bit darker in there. Because this is a keyhole, it wouldn't be bright in there. Okay, how's that looking? What is so white in there? I think it's my glue. Bye bye glue. Okay, so now let's pop this all back together. Let me see if I am in shot. Whee! There we go. Okay, that's going to take a little while to glue, but pretty much I'm done. So I hope you enjoyed that, listening to how my brain works and why I do what I do, where I do, what I do when I'm painting a canvas like this. And today I didn't add any other colors like the blues, I stuck to all the rusts and, and just the black. So trying to get my highlight on this side with my gold and my rust coming down here using some of my new matte waxes and oh I just want to create one last little thing the highlight on on my here last little trick of the eye it's a bit of a comic thing to do but it's like when you're painting faces and you put a highlight in the eyes. There we go. Done. Okay, guys. So from tomorrow, it's going to be more fine art painting for my crafting friends. A lot of the rules, same rules apply um, to construction and shadows and highlights and so on enjoy the rest of your day people and evening and i hope that was a good start to your week bye